I'm back. What'd I say? What'd I say? I'd be back. Even if I missed a week, I'd be back. But we're here. We are uh, on YouTube again, ready to talk about some more cosplay insecurities. So basically, the debunking cosplay insecurities video has started to resurface. Even though it's been like a few months, the video was received to be kind of general as well, which was also my intention, since many of the insecurities that I touched on that video can be just like general creator insecurities. So I thought, let's make another video, spread a bit more positivity, talk about some more, because this is a very broad topic. Topics discussed in this series can universally apply to a whole lot of people, whether you're a cosplayer or a content creator, or just a person who invests time, resources, or even money into your interests or your likes. And alongside that dedication can come, you know, some like doubt, some am I doing enough, some expectations you set for yourself, that may be unrealistic if you believe you need to achieve a certain standard in order to like something, in order to pursue your hobby. And you know, I'm here to tell you that like, sit down, grab a snack, let's talk about it. <laughs> Cause if you're just alone and you're just thinking about it, you're constantly thinking and thinking and thinking. And if you're like me, you're an overthinker and it's like, am I doing enough? Let's explore these thoughts together and then they won't be so scary. <laughs> so yeah, let's just dive into some more cosplay insecurities. This first one I'm gonna discuss is not doing enough. Not doing enough. This one goes through my head every day. Whether it's you're not diversifying your content enough if you're sticking to like a certain thing, like I stick to JoJo's. Whether you're not filming enough or taking enough pictures. Or if you're taking a few days to kind of just like break, but you're not necessarily in a bad place or a place where you can't do work. So you feel like, well, I should be putting my energy and resources and time into this thing which I also do care about. And to that I say, there is no timeline for you to create. There is no deadline to your art if you choose to independently create it. Part of creating content is taking your time and finding your own creative process. And if that so happens to take longer or be variable in the amount of time it takes to make art or your content or build cosplays or whatever, you are doing exactly what you need to be doing. You do not need to be doing more because this is how you do it. You do not need to dress to a different pace. You do not need to change your pace. This is how you do things and this is how you choose to create and how it feels natural and right for you. That also makes your content more sustainable to create and produce over time. You don't have to stress about these deadlines if you choose to make them. Also, when I think, am I doing enough? It's more so that I'm not focusing on what I'm doing in the moment, but I have this expectation of where I should be at in order for me to be doing enough. Like, I should... <laughs> I'm sorry, I should already have a video a week or posted more videos on YouTube or created dance covers and routines for YouTube shorts or gotten to a certain average of views on TikTok. And when I think that way, I find that reaching that expectation automatically is just something I can't do because it's just an expectation. So instead, I am focusing on making goals rather than I need to be here. Instead of I should have more on YouTube, how much is more in my opinion? My goal is not to post more on YouTube. It is to film in the 30 minute interval I blocked out for myself. You know, it is to have 10 drafts of this cosplay, which I am currently in. It is to film one dance routine when I get into cosplay next. Small goals. When we do that and we accomplish a small goal, even if it's just film one draft, I'm even with this, this can be a very tiny goal, right? We start to track progress and recognize progress more because we are accomplishing something. We are not focusing on an expectation of where we should be because we choose to focus on building our content and what we want to create to eventually maybe reach somewhat of the expectation we wanted. But always just keep in mind that expectation, it might be a lot looser than what you're envisioning right now. Because in my mind, I'm like, I should be doing more. I should have more out. But then I stop to think about it and it's like, what is more? What is more to me? Because more is different for everybody. And you, there is a balance between allowing yourself to go at your own pace 
and then making those goals to recognize your progress. It's, it varies based on everyone, but thinking about it as there's an end goal and then there's you makes things a lot more stressful. There's you and your goals, and as you complete them, you, you just build on, you are improving. You are constantly improving and you don't realize it. Even if what you're doing is just routine, you are still doing enough. You are doing what you can and that, you know, that is enough. Being more conscious about your progress helps a lot <laughs> when it comes to that insecurity. But, oh my gosh, if no one has told you today, you are doing enough, my friend. No goal is too small. Take a rest if you need to. Because this is what you do. This is your interest, this is your hobby. You go at your own pace. You make what you want. You create how much and whenever you want. You are doing enough. You're just, I, you are doing, you are doing so much. You are doing great too. Has anyone told you that? You're doing great. Thank you for creating and making content because I think that is absolutely great. You're taking initiative to do that already. I admire that so much. And thank you for making content and adding your individuality and your art into this world and into these platforms because what you create is valuable and you are absolutely doing enough just by taking initiative to make content. That one is a bit long. I need to edit that down. Second cosplay insecurity, innovating and changing your content. We always want to look for the newest trend. We always want the newest thing. You know, there are trends and um, challenges and stuff that goes around and it's tough to keep up with. I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know at this point. I'm not in on the trends. Personally, I, you know, my mutuals find all these sounds on TikTok and I'm like, whoa, this is trending. I, I should do that too. But then I catch myself. Then I'm like, okay, do you want to do this because you really want to do it? And if so, absolutely do it if you really want to do it. But are you doing this because there is teeny tiny little pressure that you have to join in on a certain trend or you have to participate in a certain trend to gain visibility or further your content? Because it is tough to create original content and specifically promote that how you want it to and also have that work with any kind of algorithm to boost it. At some point, all, you know, all accounts, all creators compromise with an algorithm or a trend and that, you know, that can help an account gain traction and that's great. But if we try and push ourselves into, we have to follow every single trend, stress, stress, pressure, questions start popping up and it's, am I doing something new? Am I doing something trendy? Am I doing something relevant that would gain attention and help me build my art? And a good example of this is whenever maybe a new anime comes out and everybody cosplays from that one anime. It's, it floods, it floods your, your home pages, it floods your for you pages and it's like, you know, I should do this too. And it's fun, it's fun to do it, right? But do not push yourself if you do not have the means to cosplay it, or if you do not have the resources to cosplay it, or if you aren't particularly interested in a trend to join, because you do not need to follow trends. You do not need to follow trends. Say it with me now. You do not need to follow trends. If you enjoy what you're creating, you don't need to switch it up or innovate it in order to increase visibility. Ultimately, if you do and it works, you might be stuck creating this kind of content that you aren't really feeling, but it works with the algorithm. If following trends are totally your thing, I, I love that. I think that's so cool. And you know, people who are like on top of it, mad respect because I could never. I stockpile content and I post things that are like months old. But you know what? You know what? Let me let you in on a little secret. You can uh, reuse cosplays, post old content, do whatever you want at whatever time, even if it's considered dated. If you enjoy it, if you enjoy making this kind of content, if you enjoy cosplaying from a very old and very niche show or manga, um, do it because that is your content. That is your uniqueness and individuality in your art. And if you are sharing it with other people, that is incredible. Content does not need to be 
completely new, completely different in order to be amazing. It doesn't have to be trendy in order to be amazing. Don't stress yourself out about changing what you are doing in order to fit something or fit a box that you didn't particularly want to be in any way. Because you are an amazing and an original and a unique content creator, okay? Do not worry. And I'm saying this also for me because I worry a lot. I'm like, oh, should I do this? Should I should I follow trends? And it's like, girl, just 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 do you. <laughs> now this one hits a bit close to home because it is an insecurity I think I struggle with the most personally. And I hope it's not just me, but it is um, feeling lonely or just a general feeling of loneliness when you pursue your hobbies. I am a certified bedroom cosplayer. <sighs> only, only 10, 15 people know I cosplay and most of them are close friends and people I trust. But I've, I've stuck myself in a box where it's like, this is just a, a personal insecurity for me. I feel insecure with my dedication to this hobby. This isn't the insecurity we're talking about. I'm just so passionate about what I create. And sometimes it makes me feel a little silly that I like care a lot about certain things. And that's why I hesitate to tell people that I cosplay or that I make content. But because I hesitate to tell people, I also feel lonely when I cosplay because I don't feel like I have anyone in my immediate proximity to share cosplay with. You know, I can't, find someone who I trust and I know is super passionate about this hobby as well that can cosplay with me that's like near me or one of my close friends and it can make the hobby feel lonely <laughs> and to combat that I think about sharing this hobby sharing cosplay isn't just about cosplaying with other people and being with other people physically what we're doing what I'm and what we are doing if you're a cosplayer who um who creates content is that we are making our art and then putting it on these social media platforms like Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. And that in and of itself is sharing our art. And I'm not saying we all have to be incredibly close, like close friends, this almost unattainable, absolute feeling of community, cause it is tough. When we post, any number of people is appreciating what you do and viewing what you do and you are sharing that with them it's weird that it's not you know physically happening that you don't have a friend who can like be with you <laughs> to film uh, tiktoks and go out and cosplay with you and like help you adjust your ring lights when they fall over because they have um broken stands but uh no, you are still sharing this hobby with someone. You are not alone because your mutuals are there and they're sharing your posts and they're liking it and they're commenting on it. You know, people are watching you on TikTok, Instagram shorts, YouTube shorts. You are sharing your art and you are not alone because there is this whole community of people who do it as well. They also share their cosplays and you're one of the people they share it with if they're your mutual, if you just follow them. This is very much, as I, as I learned from the con, a social thing. It's social media, it's connections, it's friendships, it's talking and interacting. And yes, it feels lonely. It's a juxtaposition. It is when you're on this app where basically the entire world, the entire world, people from every corner of the earth, they're on there, yet you feel alone. That's why I emphasize so much, focusing on the relationships and the connections and the interactions you have with other people who appreciate your content. In any capacity, just know there is support. You are not alone because you are sharing this with so many other people. The number almost becomes irrelevant because I always told myself, I knew as soon as I was gonna start making content, I was like, if I can reach one person with what I create and I can spread my message that you can pursue your interest and it can seem, I struggle with this a lot. It may seem silly to you. It may seem like you care about it too much and you can feel alone. But if you can reach another person who is like you, who likes the same things as you, who maybe wants to create similar things to you or does create similar things to you and your content really reaches them, that is honestly enough 
and that is so valuable. And the thought of that, it makes the feeling of loneliness not as jarring and bothersome because I know I am making content and it is being shared and it is reaching people and I appreciate that so much. And yeah, cosplay comes with a whole bunch of insecurities, much like a lot of other things, but it can totally build your confidence in ways that I just, I could not imagine that I would be here just excited and proud to create stuff to share with other people like me so there are times when you can feel down on yourself and feel bad and feel insecure and all of those feelings are absolutely and 100 percent valid just know i'm making this series <laughs> to talk about it to debunk it so you don't go overthinking things because i'm here <laughs> and i got you and i probably i overthink as well no, we're all in this together. I'm just here to share a little bit on how I like to deal with them. And hopefully this video has been helpful. I'm just super glad to be back and making content for you guys. Tell, don't tell, don't tell Xandra.j and Xandra underscore J on Instagram. But you guys are my favorites. But yes, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will be making more of these in the future. So if there's a topic that you would like to be discussed in this series, if you could leave a comment down below. I'll try and include it in my next debunking cosplay insecurities part three. I hope you guys have a lovely rest of your night. Happy Jojo day, everybody, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.